It all begins in your liver, where your body makes two kinds of cholesterol, HDL, or good cholesterol, and LDL, the bad. LDL does its damage by sticking to the inner walls of the arteries, while HDL can even clear out existing blockages. But when too much LDL builds up, it accumulates as plaques that stiffen and constrict the arteries. This condition is called atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is, is literally a, a term that means hardening of the arteries or building up of plaque, if you will. And, and you hear a lot of patients that talk about, my, my dad died of hardening of the arteries. And that's really what the term means, atherosclerosis, it means hardening of the arteries. So how does it happen? Conditions like high cholesterol, high blood pressure, diabetes, and smoking can seriously compromise the integrity of your blood vessels. The blood vessels themselves are, are uh, dynamic pipes. They're not static. They're constantly reinventing themselves. The inner lining of these vessels is smooth as glass. It's a surface that's called intima or endothelium. And it's constantly repairing itself against the sheer forces of pressure and blood. If you damage those cells, the body wants to heal it. How does the body heal? It heals by bringing cholesterol in, which is the plaster of our bodies. The cholesterol combines with other fats, cells, platelets, and calcium, which result in a buildup of hard plaque on the inside walls of the vessels. Over time, this plaque can clog vessels to the point where no blood can get through. Or pieces of the plaque can form a thrombus or clot, which can travel to the brain as an embolus to cause a stroke or to the heart to cause a heart attack. If a doctor detects the blockage, there are different treatment options. One is to receive an angioplasty, where the narrowed or obstructed blood vessel is widened with a wire mesh stent. If the blockage is too widespread to be repaired by angioplasty, the patient may be a candidate for a bypass graft surgery, where the blood flow is rerouted around the blocked artery with a vessel from another part of the body. Atherosclerosis can be controlled or prevented by reducing high blood pressure, quitting smoking, maintaining a healthy diet, and keeping your cholesterol in check. Your liver makes about 75% of your cholesterol. The rest comes from the foods you eat. So avoiding high cholesterol and fatty foods will go a long way. The optimal cholesterol level is 200 or less, with the LDL being less than 100 and the HDL being more than 60. Doctors often prescribe cholesterol-lowering medications, such as statins, to bring the LDL down to a safe level. Exercise is also important. It not only keeps the weight down and reduces stress, which contribute to heart disease, but it also helps to lower the bad LDL cholesterol while increasing the good HDL cholesterol.